guys, I'm Matt Lady, and today is a uh, video that's going to show you about a very uh, interesting money-making technique that is uh, kind of calling back on an old mechanic and taking advantage of uh, kind of what's popping right now. The irony of this uh, money-making method is uh, essentially after I show people how to do it, not that there isn't people who don't know how to do it, there's probably a, a very, very small amount of people who, who have been doing this and have gotten tons of mirrors, headhunters, etc. for this within the first week and even now, and it's still very profitable as I'm saying this. Once I say this, it be kind of becomes known and then it won't be that good anymore. But here we go anyway. So this money making method is taking advantage of one of two things. There's uh, certain mechanics revolved around ancient orbs and the fact that we have access to ancient orbs at the moment. And we're going to be abusing the basically four different laws or rules of ancient orbs. So ancient orbs have four different things that really matter. They reroll a base item to any other unique. They are eye level dependent and they cannot roll, uh, change the base item size and they can't roll league specific uniques unless you're in that league specific condition. Meaning I can't ancient orb a headhunter unless I'm in Nemesis League. Well, the thing that matters the most is Zana 8 offers harbingers. We do have access to ancient orbs. And at the moment, ancient orbs are about 20 C each pretty consistently. And that seems very expensive, but once we go over why that's not and why it's really good, that'll all kind of come together. So let's, let's, let's just take a step back and let's go over the rules again. Uh, it it rerolls a base item. So that means base item is specific size of the shield. So in this case, we're using Titicus Span. Titicus Span is a two by four shield. So it rerolls it into another two by four shield. They are eye level dependent, meaning if this is a specific eye level, it can only roll into another unique of within the same eye level bracket. They can't change the base item size and the base items type. So it's going to have to go into another two by four shield. That is the certain eye level that this one is. And it can't go into league specifics. There's no weird outliers there. Now, Tedica Span is a two by four shield. And because its eye level is 60 or below, this one's 46, this one's 34, it has but one outcome it can become. And that outcome is Lycosidae. 100% chance to become like today if you inch norb a Titica span under eye level 60 or eye level 60 below. That's fucking crazy, and let's go over why. So let's just recap. Inch norbs are 20 C each. Titica spans are worth nothing, but that's only if they're random eye levels. See, again, some people are onto this, so if you type max eye level 60, you'll start to see that they actually become more expensive. There's only one in the market, and it's 10 C. Even if it's 10 C, 10 C plus the 20 C for the inch norb. Cost of days are 150, so you could tell that these things are it's an insane profit margin right there. So, even then, you could pick these up, and this is just the guy online. If you look offline and this is in league, you'll find a bunch, they will they'll, they'll be selling them for even 10 C's like high. Most of the times, they'd be like 3 C or below. So, you're making what is that 120 C profit on very minimal effort. And if you don't have Tidica spins, it's actually another thing you can be doing. The Lion card has five outcomes. The Lion card itself is about 2C each, but again, it's probably because of this method. So for a full set, it's 10C. Within that 10C, you have five different outcomes, and they are weighted. You have Vision, Remorse, Pause, Glare, Fall. Glare, Pause, and Vision are completely worthless. Remorse is a shield. It's a 2 by uh, 4 shield, so it fits the criteria. Problem is, its eye level is normally quite high. So you have to hand it in a lower level character pretty much because it caps at 80 and it scales off your character's level. So if you hand it in a lower level character, it will be, uh, well, a lower level shield. And if you hit Lion Eyes Fall, Lion Eyes Falls themselves are 130C and that's a lot easier to sell. No one can really make them with this method. So either way, you're making money there. In G4 shield. So what I'm doing right now is making a level one. The reason I'm making level one is because when I hand in my div cards, it's going to scale the div cards to the eye level I am. It's not going to lock out anything. I'm still going to have the same five results from the lion card. All it means that if as a, I do hit a shield, the shield will be level one, which is interesting because if they are eye level dependent, that means I shouldn't be able to ancient orb the shield into anything. So let's actually see what happens with that. If I trade in my lion card, bow, come on. There's a shield. I have my shield now. It's eye level two, which means I really shouldn't be able to ancient orb into anything. But it can become Titicus span, which is interesting. So why is that? If we look at the unique shields, you'll see that the ones that are below eye level 60, the reason we did the whole 60 thing is because Turner Box is 60. We don't want to get Turner Box. We just want to have it. So we, I think below there means we can't get Red Blade Banners from Warbands, can't get Troll Timber Spire. It's from Tempest, I think? Tempest? Tempest League. So it's either Titicus or Lycosidae, which is 11 and 30. If it's 11 and 30, how come I could hit them even? 
That's a real question. And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's level two, but it can still hit like Kasade, and it can still hit Titicus. And all it does is it bounces between the two constantly. So even then, you'll still get your Lycosidae, no matter what, as long as you can hit it. It might go one, it might go Titicus, but once it goes Titicus, it can't go back. So you're going to get Lycosidae anyway. So even then, you're still making money. So that, that's basically it. You have two different methods of getting the items to m turn into Lycosidae. Either the Lion card, which has a one in three-ish chance. You can either hit the Boots, the Chest, or the Bow, which are completely dead. If you hit the Shield, then great, you can make it into Lycosidae. If you hit the jeweled and also great you can just sell that and you just have to turn in so it's below eye level 60 that's why these are eye level 34 and this is two i don't again i don't know why the two one works but it does so then you can have the other tit things you can just buy titicus is for level 60 or below you use them on ancient orb you'll automatically get like casa day so if this is this is league you got 20 seeds for ancient orb so that's 20 c times one two three four so four is 80 c investment plus the initial shield so maybe a hundred to 90 to 100 C investment made me 450 C on the top end within about 10 minutes of actual work. This is again, it's a finite thing you could do, but as far as money making methods, it's definitely up there. And I don't know how much longer it'll work for, and there's a man running circles around me. Greetings. I seem to have made a friend. Anyway, that's this little demo and uh, money making method. Good luck uh, taking advantage of it as long as you can out there. I'm Matt Lighting. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Happy Lycosa Day creating exiles.